So the reason I like to shop is mainly because of need. I like to shop because it's something that makes me really happy and gives me some sort of an intrinsic motivation. Uh, but what I love shopping is I love shopping for stationery. That's my fashion. Or oh, there's preference. some amazing sale going on that I just have go out. to check out. Virgin is, but get a, get a lot of clothes in return. But since I've always been a person who just likes fashion in general. It's getting extreme because now people know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Two hundred years, two hundred years for this textile waste to decompose. It's not even hiding in landfills anymore. It's everywhere. The second most polluting industry after oil. Ten percent of global carbon emission is generated by the textile industry. The whole glamorous side of fashion is not glamorous at all. There's a harsh reality to it as well. The fashion industry is basically a conveyor belt that takes enormous amounts of resources and create clothes which are only worn for a fleeting time before being dumped in the landfills. Obviously, we have this interest of you know buying new clothes every time when we go out, and once we've done wearing it, uh, what we do is just throw them away. Now, have we ever thought that where these clothes actually go? They usually are dumped in landfills, and 85% of the landfill content is um, clothes. The third highest source of municipal waste in India is textile. So the solution to this problem is completely upcycling as of right now. We, with the help of Utkarsh Global Foundation in Project Ekta, have collected the uh, cloths from Chindiwalas. Chindiwalas, the invisible heroes in this whole process. The fabric which is wasted during the cutting and making of a garment. These bits are called the katrans. Some of these katrans. are then sold to chandiwalas and from these chandiwalas ngos like utkarsh foundation buy these katrans and put them to good use so that the burden of textile waste is reduced uh, the women at this ngo have helped us to make products like laptop sleeves and scrunchies everything that we use daily the utkarsh global foundation has women coming from the nearby areas after completing their household work to be a part of this important vision mera vision to actually hum kaise hain hum log 2004 se bahut main job kiya sab jagah job kiya actually job mein to apne ko payment salary wagera sab milta hai lekin yahan par vision ye hai ki ek trustee hai ye aur trustee mein kaam karne ke liye ek dil ko sukoon milta hai social work hota hai jo social work ki wajah se kaise hain hum log inko kaam karate hain jo ladies log aate hain unka ghar mein koi na kuch problem rehta hai taki wo yahan par kaam karke apna ghar ka जो माइनस रहता कोई भी प्रॉब्लम रहता उसको सॉल्व कर सकता तो उसमें अपने को सुकून मिलता है मैं सुप्रिया रामगिरी मैं अमर नगर से आई हूँ सर ने बहुत हेल्प किया हम लोग को फिर काम देना फिर कभी काम आएगा तो तुरंत फोन करना फिर हम लोग आके लेके जाना मैं इधर टहली बनाती हूँ मास्क बनाती थी और सर क्या आएगा वो बनाती फिर और मैं सिलाई पाँच छः साल से कर रही हूँ जब भी ये एन जी ओ जब से इधर चालू हुआ ना तभी से मैं इधर भी आ रही हूँ हम लोग के घर पे भी गए थे तभी मालूम पड़ा इधर एन जी ओ खुल रहा है तो अभी से हम लोग एन जी ओ से काम कर ले रही हूँ लगता है मतलब मैं बनाती हूँ मेरा किसी को अच्छा लगे दिखने में इसके लिए मैं बनाती हूँ ये बहुत जन के इधर से जाता है तो मेरे को अच्छा लगता है सबको मिलता ना इट्स क्वाइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरी वन एंड वी आर वॉकिंग ऑन थिन फेब्रिक जस्ट लाइक दिन फेब्रिक ऑफ लाइफ it is very stretchy we know that even if many details remain sketchy it's completely woven that much to has pretty well been proven we are loath to continue our lesson which consists of slaps as sharp and dispersed as bee strings from a smashed nest when any strand snaps hurts working far past the locus of rupture attacking threads far beyond anything we would have said connects